Hello Summoners and welcome to League Commentary. I am your host, Cifa Cat, and today we have a match brought to you by Dean EP. So, let's have a look at it. Blue team, we have Tempest Moria on Ash, Heaven's Blade on Trindamir, Suk Dez on Sona, Lev Levry something on Leeson, and Mirador on Diana. And we have Dean EP on Kale, we have Kiku on Nami, we have Dennis... On Zack. Oh, I've got Deans and Dennis. That's annoying. Little Miss May on Israel and Bad Sea Spectral on Trindomere. So we've got two Trindomeres at the top. That's the first thing I want to point out. I love that. Oh, okay. Trindomere was having a little bit of an issue on Purple Team, but he has sorted that out now. And Zack apparently wants to start red. He's going that way and no one's quite expecting that. No one's really expecting exact start red. In fact, no one's really started expecting Lee Sin to start blue either, so I imagine Lee Sin's going to try and get blue and then go and grab Zack's red. Zack may actually have that in plan, and he may be prepared for that attempted red steal, so when Lee Sin comes around, there'll be no red to steal, so that's actually... Trindamir's left arm is a lot stronger than his right arm. You need to know this about Trindamir. Oh, Heaven's Blade, are you going to spam that all game? He's probably going to spam that all game. So one thing you'll probably notice since the last episode is I've turned off colorblind mode. Apologies if this is a problem for you, but I am sick of saying red-purple team. And someone pointed out to me that if I just turned off colorblind mode, purple team actually becomes purple team. So, as you may know, the League of Legends is actually about resolving diplomatic issues. Uh, but that's only for the higher level game. That's like the world tier level games. Lower level games, like this sort of mm, bronzy, silvery game. It's a normal Q game, just before you get it in mind that this is serious business. This is actually not a big political issue. In fact, this game is about the toothpa toothpaste price in Bandle City. Blue team is fighting for the toothpaste industry, who believes the toothpaste should increase in price because of raising prices. And purple team is fighting for the consumer, saying that... Per Toothpaste should not increase the price in Bandle City. So that's what this is all about. It's not a huge thing, but there are millions of games every day, so some of them are about minor issues. Some of them are even about household disputes. So we have Kale against Diana here, and Kale has quite interesting range, and we have Trindamere just smacking on Trindamere at top. We're going to have to call them heavy, Heaven's Blade and Bad Spectral. Bad Spectral indeed. So Trindamere is just going to smack each other. They're going to spin into each other. Bad Spectral has gotten the uh, bad side of the blade there. And, oh, stuff happening down in bot lane. Nami only just survives. <laughs> Meanwhile, Kale takes down Diana, but Lee Sin's coming for the counter gank. It's, that really needed to hit if that was going to do anything. And Lee Sin just walks off in shame. However, Deans is not happy with letting Lee Sin live. He is going in. No, Lee Sin is hiding. Now Lee Sin is in the jungle. He's coming to steal that red like I knew he would. He sees that Red's not there. He's disappointed. Meanwhile, Trindamere vs. Trindamere is still an epic fight with two guys. And Diana has disconnected. No, okay. For a second there I thought we had a rage quit, but no, just a connection issue. So we're okay. Oh, we get a dive at level 3 on the tower. This could be very bad for Blue Team. In fact, Blue Team is going to get double... <laughs> oh, that is unfortunate. That is why you don't dive so early. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so the early dive is a very risky play. Um, something you definitely want to do if you have survival plans. Unfortunately, Trindamir and Leeson didn't have any of those survival plans. So, it didn't go so well for them. Oh, that is very unfortunate. <laughs> I'm not, I just want to make this clear, I'm not laughing at them. I have done the same thing myself hundreds of times. In oh, we've got Kale versus Diana. Kale is ahead in this fight. So, I have good feelings about Kale. Actually, Kale's not really ahead. She hasn't gone back and bought anything yet. She's hold sitting on 800 gold, but Zack is looking for a gank. He's going to jump over there. Oh, oh, he's being very sneaky. No, and I thought he's going to wait and do that again, but no, he's not. So, Zack is just going to run in wildly and just see what he can get done. There's not going to be a kill there, but in fact, there might be. I mean, Zack is very low, but he's going to get away. He's just going to run through the minions. Meanwhile, Purple's Bad Spectral has come back with an Avarice Blade. He's looking to get a lot of money, and geez, there was a kill in mid again. Not too surprised. Kale is doing very well against Diana, and Kale's going to come back with a ton more gold. 
Not a lot, because the CS is fairly, fairly close between them, but, I mean, not more gold. They're going to come back with more items. They're going to spend 1,200 gold. So, 1,200 gold is definitely a good advantage. Oh, Zack is in the middle of that. Zack's passive is going to be pop. Ash is up in the air, thrown by a fish. Ash is down! Good kill by Israel. Little Miss May is a little bit low. <laughs> I just realized I like that line. Uh, but overall, good times ahead by Purple Team. Purple Team is winning this quite handily in 2k advantage. So, that's pretty good. Meanwhile, Trindamers are spinning at each other. There's a chicken shout, double chicken shout. The chicken shout is not as good as if your back is not turned against them. And Bad Spectral will leave. Meanwhile, Kale comes back with a Hex Tech Revolver that gives her excellent uh, ability power and will mean the fights are going to be much more in her uh, fight. Diana stays in fights. That is a bad idea with a Kale who is ahead of you by this much. Since Kale has better auto attack range. And Trindamir, Heaven's Blade, is he going to go down? He's going to spin away. He's going to be okay. At this stage, assuming neither, t assuming this team is not well coordinated, which I know they're not, and it's a normal queue. There's a few duo queues in here, but I wouldn't be surprised if blue team sort of surrendered out fairly early. I don't want to see that happen. I love seeing a game go to the end, but it's a normal queue game. And oh, Zach comes in for the gank on Diana, gets the kill. Leeson, is he still going to go in? No, he's backed off. No. Oh, is he going to go in? He's not going to go in. Oh, that was scary. So Leeson probably left at the exact right moment for Zack to get that kill. Meanwhile, Bad Spectral is now at level 6 and can now use Trindamere's ult, which is he is invulnerable. This is where you want to tower dive. And see, now he's just going to ult. Here he goes. He cannot die. Undying rage happens. And he just walks off like it's no big deal. He flips his hand out the window of his car and he goes, Yo boys, I'm out. I'm not quite sure why he says that, but, you know, Trindamere, he does weird things. He scares us all some days. Meanwhile, Zack and Kale are going back. Uh, yeah, purple team is winning this quite handily. It looks like the price... At the moment, I'm saying the price of toothpaste in Bandle City is not increasing this year. Of course, they can try for a rematch in a few months' time, but that is not happening at the moment. So, purple team is wondering where their Trindamere is at. Well, you killed him, so he's probably coming back to lane. But it's a good point. You should always let your team know... Where, I don't know where my lane opponent is. Maybe their Trindamere has wandered off. So now there's a 2.5k gold difference at 7 minutes. That is pretty big. Uh, you know, 75% difference there. No, 25% difference there. 75% difference is a bigger problem at 7 minutes. Although it's always a problem, really. It's percentages that matter. And Zack is just chilling out. He's just farming. Leeson, he's killing golems. Lever, I hate. Not golems. These are wraiths. Look, if it's a ghost, it's a wraith. If it's a golem, it's a golem. Meanwhile, action happening in bot lane. Nami and uh, Israel trying to save their lives. They succeed. Will they turn this around? Nami throws out a water ball and just hits a minion. And the minion goes on a fun time. Meanwhile, Kale is keeping Diana away from any sort of farm. That is really dangerous for Diana because that just puts her further and further behind. Meanwhile, we're seeing level 6s appear all over the place. Mid has already reached level 6 on both Diana and Kale. Diana's ult against Kale not gonna gonna be too useful. Kale's ult is she can be invulnerable if you haven't seen Kale in a while. Uh, Kale's not a ult played often. I quite like her because I don't know why I quite like her, but I do. But Kale being invulnerable for about two three seconds is quite a game changer. Meanwhile, Leeson comes in. The ult goes off a little bit too early. Kale may have a problem. She was invulnerable for a short time. Is she going to get away? Leeson doesn't want to let that go, but unfortunately, all things must come to an end, and that thing that comes to an end this time is the kill. Meanwhile, Bad Spectral is chasing after Heaven's Blade like nobody's business, and Kale is just happy to just sit back for a while. Fair enough. I mean, what are they going to do to you? You know, you're safe. Meanwhile, bot lane, we've got Zack coming in for the gank. He's about... Does he have his ult? He does have his ult ready. So are we going to see Let's Bounce? There it is! No, that's not Let's Bounce. That's just his regular thing. Is he going to Let's Bounce? He is not going to Let's Bounce. Israel fires off his ult, which is a thing. Nami's ult goes off, but nothing's really happening there. There were little fish in that tidal wave. I don't know where she got the fish from. This is a concern. The League will have to look into this. Meanwhile, Lee Sin is coming up to top lane, seeing if he can get anything done. That Q misses. That's unfortunate. That probably would have helped. Chicken Shout goes off. Lee, uh, Lee Sin tries to stop the attack. 
the chicken shot does reduce damage and oh Lee Sin's kick kicks him away but ultimately I think this is gonna be a kill for Bad Spectral no Lee <laughs> Trindamere's ult goes off double Trindamere ult they are both invulnerable oh but not long enough for Bad Spectral and that's the first kill for blue team that helps them a lot it's a shutdown so that catches up their gold a bit and who got that kill that was Lee Sin yeah, Lee Sin to have the kill on is good. I mean, Lee Sin is, of course, the jungler, so he's going to be roaming a lot. And Purple Team doesn't know where Diana is. Oh, meanwhile, Tr Oh! I thought that was Trindamere coming in, but no, Trindamere on the other team has teleport. No? Am I wrong? No, there's two teleports on Blue Team. That's what was going on. So, Lee Sin is very strongly... Uh, in the minds of that toothpaste should be in, the price of toothpaste should be increased in Bandle City because it's well known that Leeson actually runs a toothpaste uh, not a business he doesn't sell make or sell toothpaste himself but he is a marketing genius for toothpaste meanwhile Zach is coming in to try and finish off uh, Trindamere trying for the let's bounce oh and there it is there was a little bit of minion block for Zach there but he got it sorted in the end was the ult really needed there? Probably not. But hey, the kill was received all the same. And Lee Sin happily gives the blue buff to Diana. Which of course will give her increased mana and reduce cooldowns. So that's good. It's good times. Meanwhile, both Nami and Israel are drinking their blue potions. Getting their extra mana. Because they figure mana is going to be needed in the next few seconds. Nami throws out an exhaust onto Ash, but... Nothing really happens there. Meanwhile, Trindamere is pushing that top tower. He's probably going to get that down. Leeson is going to try to come in. No, we've got uh, Heaven's Blade coming in, teleporting in. Meanwhile, Leeson is coming in around behind. Both ults from the Trindamere's are up, so we're going to see some invulnerable time. In fact, this looks like it should be interesting. Leeson spins the wrong way. Doesn't even spin, he just sort of dive kicks and Trindamere walks out safely. That's the purple team's Trindamere because blue team's Trindamere is actually still doing work. Meanwhile Kale is still pushing on Diana hard. There's not much that Kale, Diana can really do about this because Kale is just so far ahead right now. We're seeing a hybrid build and Diana looks like she's going through the Zonya's hourglass first. Good choice. Meanwhile Lee Sin did not leave top lane like Bad Spectral thought he had and bot lane we've got a Zac trying to go for a kill. However will top lane push for the tower, they will not, so everyone sort of just does their thing. Trindamere's still trying to get those last hits, I don't think they're going to be too ki- oh damn it, I miss your kills every time. <laughs> Dean's EP is doing very well today. Dean's EP, as I said before, was the sponsor of this game, uh, I believe he's got a Facebook account that you know he wants you to check out, I believe he stream has his own games on the, his own YouTube channel, so feel free to have a look at that, the link is below, he just wanted me to check, you know, let you know, so... You know, it's a nice thing to let him know. Uh, meanwhile, Nami is doing some taunts. There are little fish around her. That's kind of terrifying. And Trindamere is going for a kill on Heaven's Blade again. He's, he's spinning away, though. That's cool. He's a cool guy. I love characters that spin. Spinning is the best thing in this game. Uh, Darius, Garen, Trindamere. Spinning is how you do well. Uh, Wukong. None are actually characters I play when I think about it, but I do like the animation of someone spinning around in battle. It's, like, it's the worst idea. Why would you spin in battle? That's what you do. Now, one thing that Trindamere usually does is he pushes top really hard. Like, he will just keep pushing top and he will never leave. Meanwhile, <laughs> both Trindamere's just smacking on each other. There's no strategy here whatsoever. Both Trindamere's are going to die. Uh, oh, only one on dying raised you so far. Oh, actually, no! Bad Spectral will survive with a nice gank from Zack. Zack just bounces in spot as a happy little blob monster that he is. And... 14.4 oh, to 19.2. 5k gold difference of 14 minutes. Blue Team is not having a good game. Blue Team is probably getting about to the point where they're kind of calling this quits. Um... I don't see anyone rage quitting. I don't see anyone standing at the fountain. So that's probably a good sign. Maybe we'll see this game go to an end. I mean, blue team can still win this. I want to make this very, very, very clear. The game is not over by any means. It's a hard comeback. Yes. But it is still possible. 
I'm the sort of person that doesn't give up a game. Like, oh, we're 20k behind and they're pushing on our inhibitors. Yeah, I don't care. This can They can still make a really a series of really bad plays and lose it from there. Hell, I've done it myself before. So, I, oh, okay. Trindamere has gone down there to uh, assist this blue team, but unfortunately Israel gets away. They're going to push down bot tower. Zach goes in on his own. No one really cares, Zach. No one really cares too much. And purple team loses their bot tower. Meanwhile, top tower is being pushed by the blue team. Purple team's minions. Oh, great, I'm still getting the team colors wrong. And Trindamere is going behind the lines. It was a really interesting tower dive, but ultimately it went well. He does not have his ult, so that tower could have killed him, but it did not. And now Lee Sin is being caught by Kale. Will Trindamere go in? No, Trindamere is just happy just farming. Just farming minions. Meanwhile, Kale could be in a problem. Oh, Kale's got four people on her. Trindamere comes in. I don't think Kale's going to make it out of this. She's running. No, she is down. Trinity gets that kill. Oh, meanwhile, top lane is being pushed by minions. That's extra damage on the tower that blue team really doesn't want to see right now. But it's happening nonetheless, and they can't stop it. Zach goes in, trying to keep four people away. Bad Spectral is here as well. Bad Spectral is having a good game. He's got his Blade of the Ruined King. I mouse over it just to see what it is, but the overlay makes it really hard to see, so I apologize. But anyway, there is stuff happening. That's what you need to know. Meanwhile, Zach goes in, the let's bounce comes off. There's th everyone on blue team is at the tower in the mid. Meanwhile, purple team with their gold advantage, are they going to make a kill happen? Israel fires an ult in. There's four in purple team now. Kayla's all the way back at the base, so she's not going to be in. It's a 4v5. It's looking very good for the purple team. Zach has gone exploded. He's gone done exploded, but, you know, he's got his passive, so he's going to come back to life in a second. Will he survive? He will survive. He's just going to run away. Ash gets knocked into the air by Nami. Exhaust comes out, but Ash escapes. So that was a uh, two, for f two for zero in a 4v5. That is a bad sign. Meanwhile, Kale comes in full health, kills Ash. No worries there. Maybe goes for Lee Sin. You do not have your invulnerability anymore, Kale. You're not going to survive this, I feel. Oh, no! You are going to survive this. i sorry that I had no faith in you. There's going to be a kill on Sona. Oh, a Q will be bad for you right now. Ooh, that was unfortunate. But overall, that was a 4 for 1. No one will ever complain about a 4 for 1. Unless, of course, you're on blue team, in which case the complaints are happening as we speak. You are not happy about this as blue team. The purple team... They're getting a little confident. You could see by that 4v5, they're getting a little overconfident. But I don't know if I actually say overconfidence is the right word, because it clearly worked out well for them. Meanwhile, Trindamere, he's going to push uh, mid lane and try to get that purple tower down. He's probably going to get it. The only one who can really stop him right now is Zack. And Zack is just punching a wraith. You know, stuff you, blue wraith. I don't even like you. And so that's 150 gold for all of blue teams. That's 150 gold each, which, you know, does even the odds quite a de big deal. Uh, meanwhile, <laughs> Bad Spectral is going after Lee Sin. Oh, but the kick from Lee Sin will save him. But then he comes back in again. No, Lee Sin, if you want to survive, going back in is not the way you do it. But I don't think Lee Sin really cares. I think Lee Sin is blind, and he doesn't really care. There's not an insult to the Lee Sin player, for those who don't know. Lee Sin is actually blind. Uh, that is a problem of Lee Sin. Uh, and, you know, one minute away until surrender is now possible. Will I see a surrender? I think I will, but I don't think I should. Blue team is probably thinking they're a lot further behind than they actually are now. Because even though they're 13... This is what I'm saying. Even though they're 13 kills behind, they don't see the gold difference. They're not that far behind. I mean, there's been no dragons. So that means that purple team is not capitalizing on that. They really should be getting dragon when they're winning that well. But no dragons, so... They're not as far ahead as they should be. Certainly, I mean, if you're doing that well, you want to be making a move on dragon. Oh, it looks like Nami may... Even, no, Nami may be warding dragon. She's warding Dragon. They've got no wards there. There are no wards on blue team whatsoever. Uh, that's one thing you... Oh, okay, Sona does have a ward or two. That's probably good. But 
Yeah, a blue team can still make a comeback from this. I'm still optimistic that it's not over. Uh, and there's a lot of death happening. Ash has been caught out. That's not what they needed. Little Miss May gets the kill on Ezreal. That was, well, on Ash, but Little Miss May is playing Ezreal. That was not the catch out they really wanted, but that could have all been prevented with a ward or two. Or maybe a little bit of caution. So, purple team is pushing mid. They're going to go for that mid tower. It's about half health. A little bit less than that, actually. And, yeah. Trindamir is just chilling at the top. This is a two, uh, 3v4 at the moment. 3v3, actually, sorry. And, Zack really wants to get that dragon. Zack is... No, not Zack. Yeah, Zack is killing that dragon. I lost Zack for a moment, but he's there getting that dragon. Blue team is wandering around mid. Can they make anything happen? Leeson fires his Q through the brush. Not much really happens. And see, this dragon will give everyone... How much? 190 gold for everyone. And 215 for Zack, because, you know, he killed it. Meanwhile... Purple team is running... No! Oh, that is the surrender vote from blue team. They have had enough. That's a little disappointing. I really want to see that game go the distance, but I guess when you're being that, uh... For like a better word, trounced? Uh... <laughs> well, they weren't being that trounced. They could have made a comeback if they had tried. They'd made a couple of good plays, but unfortunately, they'd had enough. That was at least a 4v1 surrender vote. Maybe one player on blue team still wanted to try, but overall, they were done. Purple team is the victor today. It looks like the price of toothpaste will not be increasing in Bandle City this time. Perhaps next time. And until then, congratulations to Dean ZP, Kiku Ingus, Dinner, Dinnerness, Little Miss May, and Bad Sea Spectral. And thank you again to Dean's EP for, uh, you know, adding me on the, you know, League of Legends game thing game client so I could do this replay uh, he does have a Facebook and a YouTube account which the links just below he'd like you to check them out and until then I have been C for Cat and I wish the farewell and good luck in the lanes see ya